The Cube presents HPE Discover 2022. Brought to you by HPE. We're back. You're watching theCUBE's coverage, HPE Discover 2022. This is day three, Dave Vellante with John Furrier. Ricky Cooper is here, he's the Vice President slash newly minted SVP, we're going to talk about that, of Global and Transformational Partners at VMware, and Rocco La Vista, who's the Vice President of Worldwide Green Lake Cloud Services at the, Transformation, the Transformational Partner, Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Guys, welcome to the program, thanks for coming Thank on. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. So a really interesting title, and you've got a new role. Yeah. Right? Explain that. Well, I'm the interim SVP for the channel and for the commercial business at VMware. I also have the global, my existing role is global and transformational partners. So that's our, you know, our largest OEMs and also the transformational partners, which is more the, you know, the, the reseller stroke um, services element of our business. I remember in, uh, John and I started theCUBE in 2010. Yeah. And the second show we did, third show actually, was, was VMworld 2010. Yeah. And Moritz was the CEO at the huge time. Huge booth, wow. it was amazing. And, and HP at the time was all over, you know, uh, uh, the Cube and of course VMworld and you guys have been partners for a long, long time, Rocco. So maybe give us a little bit of the history. Absolutely. So for 20 years, HP, HPE has been partnered with VMware in delivering virtualization technology and solutions to our customer base. And while that partnership is strong, and I remember some of the market share numbers were like 45% of VMware software stack is running on HPE servers in technology, I think about how that's evolved, right? Like strong history, strong partnership. And when I say strong, I'm not talking about marketing fluff. I'm not talking about slideware. I'm talking about at a ground level that the account teams get together and talk about what those customers that they're working with, they get together and figure out what outcome they're trying to solve for, and we bring that technology together. Now layer in GreenLake. GreenLake is taking at the heart of what VMware does with their software stack, combining it with our infrastructure solutions and providing IaaS, PaaS, and CaaS capabilities to our customers at the edge, in their core, whether it's a data center or um, colo, as well as providing the common operating model into public cloud. And so we embrace, and the partnership is only getting stronger because of what VMware does with us now with GreenLake, which is yeah. everything what HPE is about. That is well, well said. I got to say, I got to say that was crisp. That was really crisp. <laughs> and, and not to kind of go back and look at the history of theCUBE, but we've been covering both of you guys mm -hmm. deeply. I've been watching the transformation of both companies. It's so clear that VMware is so deep in the operational side of IT. It's been yeah. one of the hallmarks of VMware. Mm -hmm. uh, vSphere, um, all, all that technology. You guys have been powering with the hardware. Now, GreenLake, we had a demo yesterday with the storage team. They're provisioning storage, Amazon storage, mm -hmm. and on-premise and edge. So we see VMware as a massive service layer in this new model, very key. How deep uh, is it going now with the GreenLake? Can you share what's different with the relationship? I get the account, deep account partner sharing, but now that GreenLake's out there, you have an ecosystem. VMware has an yep. ecosystem. Absolutely. <laughs> a big one, Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, Take and this through. is really where we're looking to improve things. So let me, let me start by saying we've just been voted the 2020 uh, Partner of the Year uh, here with HPE this week, and that news is out there and uh, was issued a couple of days ago, which is yeah. fantastic for the two companies and shows the direction where we are now and where we're looking to go forward. I think there's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes. As we emerge as an independent company, there's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes on how we look at our broader ecosystem and certainly our largest OEMs, of which you know, HPE, as Rocco said, 20 years of great partnership there. The next stage is how do we really get the teams equipped and plug into GreenLake? Um, you know, we've had a relationship very well known with Dell for the last, you know, for the last five years. Where we've grown that business at an amazing rate. We've got a whole bunch of personnel still working on, on those areas. We're in a position now where we can sort of redeploy some of those, um, some of the headcount to really drive our mission here with our other partners and certainly with HPE. Well, the integration piece that you guys have co, you do a co-engineering on, that's well documented. Yeah. But with the ecosystem specifically, this mm -hmm. is a net new thing for GreenLake and frankly, 
us analysts, and we had IDC on yesterday, we're looking at that as a benchmark. We're going to be measuring GreenLake's yeah. success by how well the ecosystem is. So, Correct. welcome to the party, VMware and HPE. That is it. You didn't have to have that big ecosystem because you had the channel, you, HP has a strong channel, mm -hmm. but now it's an ecosystem game. Talk about that. Customers have that expectation, right? And if you think about what we built, we've got an ecosystem, we, we, we um, announced mar the marketplace for GreenLake. Right? Now, VMware has their own marketplace, but by standardizing on their technology in our private cloud enterprise, which was also announced here at Discover, which is deeply rooted with VMware technology in it, we now are able to take advantage of their marketplace, plus all the others that we're bringing into GreenLake, and effectively solve for the customer's most complex business problems, because if you want to be successful, you have to think that the world is open and hybrid. And that means partnerships with everybody. Mm -hmm. You can't think, I won't partner because they're a competitor, or they may have a product that competes with me. It starts and ends with what the customer wants and needs, and solving for that business objective, that means partnering well. Well, you guys have, you know they're, they own the operator, IT ops, I yep. would say ops, ops side, clearly. Mm -hmm. And with the cloud native momentum that VMware has, and what you guys have been doing, I just see a nice fit there. What are some of the customers saying? I mean, what's some of the, what's the, what's the market telling you with GreenLake and VMware? What's the number one thing people love? Well, just, just look at GreenLake at its core, and the, very simplistic, pay as you grow model, right? The hardware doesn't grow without software. You don't scale the hardware or scale it back without software. And so what are we doing within GreenLake? We're taking the VMware stack and we're scaling it with the hardware up and down for customers. They no longer have to worry about the balancing act between how much infrastructure I have to buy, mm -hmm. how much software do I have to marry up to it, are they out of sync, right? We're solving that together for our customers. That's what they want at, at a very simplistic view, right? Then they say, hey, give me the lifecycle management of this platform, right? I don't want to have to spend IT cost, operations, have employees dealing with very rudimentary lifecycle management and the toil that it comes with. That's a big cost element. When customers are creating snowflakes mm -hmm. in their IT operations, they're adding cost. And what we're doing through this partnership, what we're doing with private cloud enterprise, is eliminating that toil and, and helping optimize that operating model. You're simplifying. Uh, oh, absolutely. So I want to standardizing there a little bit as it, well, right? It, so that, that's a, a great point, and Brock has made several there. But the next stage for us, and what we've been talking about a lot this week, is how do we sort of standardize? Mm -hmm. What are the three or four things that customers are going to recognize this partnership for? You know, be that um, anywhere workspace, be that multi-cloud. What are the three or four things that we could say, hey, these two companies together are fantastic, and how do you then Security. Get up and ready. Yeah. yeah, security. security. Yeah. How do you then get that up and running in a GreenLake environment, but also on the back end, ensure that your operations are seamless and it's a great customer experience. So, Ricky and Rocco, I want to uh, rewind two clicks back in, in the context mm. of standards and the partner conversation, the ecosystem conversation. Are you at a point where you can, because you're basically saying you can cross pollinate the ecosystems and the partnerships, yeah. but you got different, you know, business practices, different legal contracts, and so forth. Are you able to create standardization at that layer within the partners, beyond just you two, within your respective ecosystems? Is that, it sounds like that's a really difficult challenge, but it could deliver customer benefit in terms of reducing friction. Absolutely, it does. And that's what we've got to work towards. So right now, operation-wise, contract-wise, yeah. that's exactly what we're here working through. It's not easy, mm -hmm. but the teams are all fully behind it, and that's the nirvana for us is to be in that position. Well, and, and what I really like, where we are in this partnership at, in a point in time, VMware is spun off from Dell. If there's any confusion by our customer base that VMware is going to not only work with us as they've done traditionally, but maybe get closer and not worry about this standardization, this approach, this ecosystem of players. I mean, you know, Ricky and I talked about this, like this only gets better yeah. because of that. 
Yeah, the market dynamics are your friend right now. I think yeah. that's definitely the case, and the history is key. But the technical trends that we had an earlier panel on here, uh, with the technologists coming together, mm -hmm. there's big changes happening. The edge is exploding, oh, yeah. rapidly accelerating with machine learning. You're seeing IT ops turn into ML ops. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see the edge, industrial edge, explode. Um, even into space, so like we have technology shifts. Yeah. And IDC pointed out that the B2B growth trends, even IT spend, if you want to even call it IT spend or cloud spend or cloud ops, is still up and to the right. Yeah. Even during is, a recession. And that is where all the opportunity is. So, you know, not just focusing on what we do today, let's think outside the box. We're doing some great things together, you know, in the, in the AI space and with NVIDIA and between the two teams. Some, amazing things are happening, and we've just got to continue that, but focus is going to be essential in the early stages to make sure you've got two or three things built out very well, and then the rest of the business that's already happening out there between the two companies is a bit more programmatic. Yeah, it's interesting, the, v, the VMware relationship with the hyperscale, I know we've covered mm -hmm. uh, the AWS announcement like six years ago, I forget what it was, Dave, four or six years, Ragu was there with Andy Jassy, yeah. Pat Gelsinger, and, and uh, all the top dogs there. But that's just Amazon. It's still the VMware instances on the cloud there. Yeah. The customers we're hearing here at GreenLake is that they want the single pane of cloud. I hate to use that term, it's kind of an old term, but mm, that's, that's kind of what we're seeing. They still yep. want it because nobody's giving it to them. Yeah. Yep. So this, and then Outpost, which was launched four years ago, kind of not working well for Amazon because EKS and Open Standards and, and other hardware platforms, which is essentially hardware, mm -hmm. which is not Amazon's game, and yep. although they do great hardware in the cloud, but they're not they're not hardware well, people. Wait, so you're talking about like the public cloud guys trying to get into the edge. But look, the world is hybrid. In no point in instance in time do I ever believe that Azure will be able to control AWS nor GCP, vice versa, right? And then this idea that you can go from the outside in is interesting. But where data is created, where the applications are, where the digital and the analog world meet is at the edge. And for our customers, they're creating transactions and data at the edge. Mm -hmm. That's where the control plane should start, not in the public. And so given that, and working with VMware, we're able to say where the data lives, where the application is sitting, where the digital transformation is happening, it's from the inside out that you provide a standard operating model across all your clouds, right? They're never going to be able to give that to you unless you're 100% in their cloud, including what they do at the edge. What we're doing with GreenLake is saying, we're giving you that edge to colo, to, to core cloud. data center, to public cloud operating model that you're not having multiple snowflakes of an operating model for each one of those clouds, and VMware is at the core of that. And it's a global model, and yep. Ricky, I'm guessing from you're what I would call an accent, that you weren't born in America. Correct. I know where this Yankee fan is. Yeah, that's a fan. That, so, that's okay. Don't pin Yankee fan on me. No, that's fan? Yeah. Oh, okay, so well, uh, despite 1986, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I wanted to ask if how you're able to take these standards overseas. Um, yeah. And because of course, you know you know well, John, as do I, you know, different countries yep. have different, different problems. Governance issues. Are you able to take this, to make this a global Sort of Absolutely, and, and the work I was talking about with NVIDIA and HP is a great example because we've gone the other way. It's coming from Asia, where we've set up some best practice in the work that they're doing there, and it's coming across into Europe and coming across into the US. So it's all about finding, you know, finding the right solutions that we were talking about earlier, what's going to work, building out, investing. Mm -hmm. That's something I think that we, we've missed a trick on you know, through, through the past sort of four or five years. VMware really leaning in and really holding a hand here of HPE. The team, were, a huge team turned up to, the, mm. to, to this event from all over the world. They're here demonstrating exactly what you're talking about, the standards with NVIDIA, that message. And then you take that and make sure that it's not a snowflake just happening in Asia. You're bringing <laughs> it across the world and, and you're getting the you know, the impetus and the uh, push behind that. When you say Snowflake, I think of Snowflake, we just covered their event two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not Snowflake, <laughs> <laughs> Snowflake. Um, um, but final question as we wrap up, um, we got VMworld converted to now called VMware Explore, yeah. so we'll be there again uh, on the floor, two sets with theCUBE. Um, lots changing. What can we expect to see from the relationship? What's the scorecard going to look like? What, what's the metrics you guys are measuring yourselves on? And what can customers expect from the HPE um, VMware next level relationship, partnership? Uh, for me, it's very simple. We measure our success based on 
the customer response. Are we solving for what they want us to be solving for? And that will prove itself out in how we're solutioning for them, the feedback that they give us, and this Discover event in terms of what we've released, the announcements between private cloud enterprise, the marketplace, um, what we're doing with this relationship since the Dell spinoff, the feedback has been amazing, amazing. Right. And I am thankful, thankful for the partnership. Awesome wrap, way to bring us home, Rocco. Thank you for that, and thank you, Ricky, for coming on theCUBE. Great, great you to have you. You guys have been great, thank you. thank you. Thanks very much. All right, and thank you for watching. This is Dave Vellante for John Furrier. Day three of HPE Discover 2022. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live enterprise and emerging tech coverage. We'll be right back.